It's dark, so I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna chug some water, zip my backpack up, and then we can hike, I think. Yeah. It's my second day ever climbing in Zion. I was looking around wondering where the wall we're gonna climb today was, pointing in all the wrong directions. Today is the 26th anniversary of the first free ascent on this climb. We are in Zion National Park right now. It's historic and there's lots of rad multi-pitch climbing. First heard about Moonlight a long time ago, just as the most epic multi-pitch finger crack climb in the universe. I've probably tried climbed maybe a total of 10 days in my life. I feel great about climbing with Tiffany. My goal is to try Moonlight and give it everything I have. It's cool to try to flash something that you're kind of unsure about. You start the epic corner pitch on this ledge called the rocker blocker. Here, feel this. <laughs> oh shit! What are you about to do? I'm about to climb the, the crux corner of the Moonlight Buttress. Once I knew that Moonlight was going to be the objective for sure, I was super psyched. I've wanted to try Moonlight for years, and in terms of like a hard multi-pitch free route in North America, it was at the top of my list. Ethan just finished the pitch. Yeah. That was so rad. Yeah, that was so much fun. No falls yet. No pressure. I had so much respect for Ethan, for, for groveling, for suffering. Ethan Pringle doesn't seem like a track climber when he's climbing, but he's really good at it. I don't think anyone sees a crimp on Moonlight Buttress and is like, oh, thank God, like we are. I couldn't have picked a better partner than Tiffany. It doesn't matter how grueling the spaces in between doing the fun free moves are, she's gonna have a good time. I was super psyched to have achieved the goal of flashing Moonlight Buttress. <laughs> it's been on the list for a long time. Victory! To be a climber is to embrace the challenge of it. Not only embrace it, but like seek it out. 